Hey there, and welcome to the first episode of All Things Cloud. My name is Oktay Sari, and during this session, we're going to have a look at the end user experience on personal Android devices while enrolling for a work profile that's been configured in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Uh, bear with me a second and I'll start the video and we'll continue from there on. Now, users need to have the Company Portal app installed on their device to enroll for a work profile. And when they install the Company Portal app, they can open it and then sign in using a username and password before they actually enroll for a work profile. Click on begin, continue, and then create the work profile. Now the actual user experience is going to be a little less speedy, but in my experience, it shouldn't take longer than 10, maybe 15 minutes at the max for users to configure the work profile and be done with it. Now we're interested in two notifications users see after they enroll for the work profile. Let's close some apps and see the notifications. Uh, the notifications are secure your work profile and update device settings. Now, depending on which one the users click first, the actual outcome of the configuration is going to be different for them. Let me just show you that I have already configured a pin to unlock the device, and that's one, two, three, four. Now, why is that important? Because when I click on update device settings first, I am actually going to reset that pin for a new one. And that new pin is also going to enforce restrictions that I've configured in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Yeah, that's right. Like for example, having six digits instead of four. And you have to realize that most end users won't know that they're actually configuring a new pin for the device. So make sure to inform them and make sure you have a good and solid communication plan and, and adoption plan for end users before they enroll for a work profile. Now, I've set a new pin, that's 784512. And let's see what happens when I try to unlock the device using my, my old pin. One, two, three, four. It's incorrect. It's not allowing me to enter that pin. Now let's try with the new pin then. Unlock the device and enter the new pin. And there we are. Now why is this happening? It's happening because of a feature that's called um, use one lock. And use one lock is enabled by default when users enroll for a work profile and click on update device settings. There are some other notifications uh, like this one, uh, which enables your support engineers to reset the work profile pin should users lose it. Make sure that you inform your users about those notifications as well. Now let's have a look at the setting. Enter your device settings and then search for work profile. Now the work profile settings are only available to you when you configure a work profile. And this is it, use one lock. As you see here, it's enabled and two other options are grayed out by default uh, when I clicked on update device settings. This enables users to have one pin to unlock the device as well as open the applications in the work profile. Okay, I am going to reset the device by removing the Company Portal app and then start over again and see what happens when we choose the other option, Secure Your Work Profile. Now we're going to open the Company Portal app again and then sign in with the same username as before and create the work profile. I've also reset the device pin back to one, two, three, four. And that's good to know because uh, shortly I'm going to have two different pins to deal with. 
one to unlock the device and the other one to open the applications in the work profile. But first, let me show you that the device pin has been set back to one, two, three, four. Now, no error this time. Okay, let's go back to the notification and then click on secure your work profile. It will ask me to enter my uh, current pin again because we're going to change security settings, right? So we'll enter that one and then see what options we have. Now this time I can set a pin or perhaps even use fingerprint or iris, but for demo purposes, I am going to set a new pin. 784512 is going to be the pin to open the applications in the work profile. Okay, we can still unlock the device with 1234. Let's make sure that's working. It is. And then have a look at the settings this time. Search for work profile once again. And now you'll see that the use one lock option uh, has been disabled. And two other options are av available and no longer grayed out. I can actually change the auto lock work profile setting from 10 to five minutes, for example. Now we have to wait five minutes before the device locks so we can see uh, that we can uh, unlock the device using the device pin and then go to the work profile using the work profile pin. Okay, this is my device pin once again. And as you can see, no issues here. Now, when I go to my work profile, I don't have to enter the pin when opening the work profile. I only have to enter the pin uh, when I first open one of the applications within the work profile. And after that, I can open the other applications without having to enter the pin again. But that's only during this session. And the session timeout is what you configure in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Now let's see if I can open Excel, for example, uh, without having to enter the pin again. Yes, it works. Okay, yay. Now, make sure that you inform your end users of these notifications and what the actual outcome is when they click on update device settings or secure your work profile. So you have to have a communication plan and adoption plan for your end users. Also, make sure to check out my blog at allthingscloud.blog because there's a lot more information on this topic over there, uh, where I've also included some links to the Microsoft documentations. So that was it for this first session. I really hope you've enjoyed it and that you've learned something. Uh, and until next time.